very much, Your Honor. <laughs> so, look! So, look! It's Wurgle! He's put himself together again. Aren't you glad? I don't know. I have a feeling he's going to cause us an awful lot of trouble. Oh, come on, Grumpy Gut. Them dang kids again. I've an idea they're going to cause me a great deal of trouble. Oh, I... A great deal of trouble. <laughs> you'll feel better in for to watch Magpie which follows in a moment. Day after day love smoke a few The feel of the strength He ain't on a shame Oh me Drifter, the new twin bar from Brown Trees. Big, chewy, satisfying. You couldn't rush it if you wanted to. When you're hot and tired of this plain dead beat, turn on, step in, refresh yourself. In the early morning when you're half asleep, turn on, step in, refresh yourself. Lots of fun for the kiddies to do Quick and easy, made with you Four refreshing minutes under an instant electric shower costs around 2p. Installation is easy, usually takes a day. Buy one at your electricity board shop now. Turn on, step in, refresh yourself. Twenty years ago, unknown to the world, Eric Smith was the first man in space. Now Eric returns to a very different world and a very different wimpy. Bacon burgers, cheeseburgers, quarter pounders, and the wimpy king size, 100% beef. Have you seen how things have changed at wimpy? Got a swimming pool problem? Ring Teledata on 200 0200. Imagine for a moment Real fruit as chewy as fruit tell Cause fruit just isn't chewy enough Yes, fruit just isn't chewy enough So imagine for a moment Real fruit as chewy as fruit tell Real fruit as chewy as fruit tell Children love Chessington, Chessington Zoo. The country zoo was a fun fair too. The family zoo with so much to do. Chessington! There's a whole day's fun for everyone at Chessington. The country zoo with a fun fair too. Hey, Eddie, how come you're such a big hit with the girls? You can tell from what I'm drinking that I'm really kind of smooth, oh yeah. Uh-huh. I'll take a Pepsi from the counter and a stroll up to the booth, oh yeah. Uh-huh. And when I get to where they're sitting, that's my chance to treat these kittens to a Pepsi. Pepsi Cola. Uh, it's like a Pepsi Cola. Oh, yeah. It's like a Pepsi Cola. Mm -hmm. Hi! You have 20 seconds to guess Bubble Yum's new long lasting flavor. Tricky, isn't it? Yes, Bubble Yum's exciting new flavor is Ignaro. Bubble Yum Bubble Gum. Now a new Ignaro flavor. Ignaro? 
Come to Hickstead and see the world's greatest show jumpers this bank holiday. Starts today, Friday, four super days out for all the family. I can't think of a film more likely to take you away from it all than Ali Barber and the Forty Thieves. And unless you happen to have a magic carpet yourself, of course, but if not, don't forget Monday morning, 11.25. Now, Magpie. <laughs> For a girl and four for a boy Five for silver, six for gold Seven for a secret never to be told Man. Hello, now then, have a pad with some paper and a pencil standing by for something I'm going to show you later, please, please. Right, we also have new music with their single World of Water but we start off with a very unusual emergency. London to Charlie, come in please. London, yes, London to Charlie, are you on your way back with the RTA, over? Yeah, Charlie to London, RTB, over. And this one's a bit urgent on RTB first, over. Can you give me your ETA, over? Yeah, Charlie to London, approximately four to five minutes, over. Thank you very much, over and out. Thank you, over and out. We're in a hospital in southwest London early in the morning, and as you may have heard from all that lot going on there, there's been an accident. They're expecting a patient who should be coming by ambulance any moment now. So the injured party was a dog, and this is an animal hospital. It's run by the RSPCA. There are three in this country. There are also 50 clinics run by the RSPCA, and they all deal with animals referred to them by vets, emergency cases brought in by police or public, and animals whose owners can't afford private fees. And that makes up some 450,000 cases in a year. This is one of them, so let's go and follow his fortunes. The dog was examined by vet Mike Winch, who diagnosed the broken leg. But before x-raying to make sure, he anaesthetised the patient to prevent further pain. Whilst fast asleep, the dog had his leg shaved so that it could be thoroughly cleaned, ready for Mike to operate. Uh, here's the x-ray. And what have we got? Well, the tibia is fractured, uh, but it's a fairly clean break. And what we're going to do is to put a metal pin right through the center of the bone. And uh, within a week or so, uh, he should be able to get around on this leg. Well, I suppose you've right. got to hustle him Yes, on, we're yeah. going to get him into the theater. So in the operating theatre, the first thing you do is to clean the area that you're going to work on. Yes, the leg has been thoroughly scrubbed, and now we're just putting the final disinfectant on. And we're just going to completely isolate the area that we're going to work on. Now, this is a different type of anaesthetic. Yes, we've now got him on the anaesthetic machine, and he's getting a gas anaesthetic. So it looks to me, Mike, as though you're now about ready. Yes, we're just about ready to go. In that case, I'm going to leave and um, have a look around the wards and um, see you later. I hope it yes, all goes very well. well. Right, Ollie's a, a nurse in the dog ward here and you call it a dog ward and the first thing I see is a rabbit, Ollie. Yes, it's a stray rabbit and it's in here really until someone claims it. We're hoping that someone will come forward and uh, say it's theirs. Not too much wrong with him no, or her. No. What else have we got? We've, well, we've got lots of dogs. We've got a dog there. Yeah, that belongs to an old age pensioner who cannot bring the dog in for treatment, so our van goes out and picks it up, and then we bring it back here, treat it, and we take it back home again. And this is very extraordinary. That's this... a fox. Oh. It was picked up in a cemetery in Fulham, in a snare. It had been there for three or four days. It's got a very, very nasty wound on its leg, and we're hoping to let it go in three or four days once it's better. It obviously doesn't like being in there. It's not eating terribly well. So um, we'll get it out as soon as we can. And up here we've got... Uh... 
Another unusual dog, a kestrel. <laughs> yes, that's awaiting rehabilitation. We're going to gain like the fox, get that out within three or four days if we can. Here comes our fella. How did it go, Mike? Fine. I think he'll be okay. We've got the uh, check X-ray here that we've we taken. Should we go down with him and see uh, and see where he ends up? I'm just going to pop him in this cage here to recover from the anaesthetic. It went reasonably well, though. Yes, we're quite pleased with him. And you have an X-ray? Yes, we've taken another X-ray after the operation. Uh, just to make sure that the pin is in the right position and that uh, everything's fine. Uh, and when would you hope that he'll be up and about again? He'll be standing up by this afternoon and uh, we'll keep him here for four or five days before he goes home. Well, I'll go back and find Ollie because she's showing me around. Right. And see you later on, Mike. This is an important part of the day, isn't it? Yes. The dogs, you let them out frequently to um, let them relieve themselves and, and have a little run around. What uh, was wrong with your Dalmatian? Well, he had a bladder problem, but it's cleared up now. He's much better, though, is he? Oh, yes, he's much better. The swan there. The swan? What was wrong with that? It has swallowed a fish hook, which someone had left lying around. And luckily, we were able to get it out. And uh, that's due to be released tomorrow. That's going back. The swan and ducks seem to be recovering well. Now let's check on our dog's progress. Well, here he is, still fast asleep, but uh, maybe he'll be... Thank you very much. Maybe he'll be up and about by the time we come back. It was Mike's day for clinic duty, and he invited me to sit in on his surgery. And this is a uh, uh, dog that's been under treatment for a few days. Um, got in a rather nasty dog.